Hey guys, it's your girl Anna and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be doing for you some Johnny Cakes or some fried dumplings. Whichever you call it, that's what I'll be doing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. Tell a friend, to tell another friend, to tell another friend. And if you're new, do feel welcome. So let's jump right into the video. So here we're adding some flour and this is two cups of flour and to the flour I'm going to add some cornmeal and this is a quarter cup of cornmeal. To that I'm going to add some salt and this is one tablespoon of salt. Then I'm going to add some sugar and this is two tablespoons of sugar. I'm now adding some butter and this is a half cup of butter. Then I'm going to add a tablespoon, two teaspoon rather, of baking powder. I'm now going to add the, I'm now going to mix everything together rather. So I'm going to combine the, the butter and the flour and everything to get a breadcrumbs kind of texture. Once I have done that, I'm then going to add my water and I'm adding one and a half cup of water gradually. You might add more, you might add less, it depends on your climate. Now I'm just kneading, I'm combining everything together, I'm about to roll it up into a ball. So you have to ensure that you knead it properly, get everything, but do not over knead. Once you have got it to your liking and ensure that it is not too stiff, but it's not too loose either. So it should have a little bit of stickiness to it, but nothing to break the dough apart. Once I have done that, I'm going to cover and I put aside. It is better to use this once you have done it like 12 hours ahead or do it overnight. Now I'm going to cut it into 12 pieces. For the size that I'm going to make, we will get 12 equal Johnny Cakes from this. So here we have it, 12 small balls. I'm now going to show you how I put my dumpling or Johnny Cakes together. So I use my big finger to na navigate it and use my other four fingers to hold it in place. Once I've done that with my big finger, I'm then going to put it in the palm of one of my hands and use the other arm to just roll it. So I'm going to roll it into a ball. I'm going to use the walls of my fingers to keep it into the ball that I want. So, once I've done that, I'm just going to repeat the process until I finish kneading or making the balls of the 12 Johnny Cakes that we'll be making today. So, here's another repeat of the same step. And once we have done that, we are then going to set our pot on. And I'm using a saucepan, not a frying pan. And I've added two cups of oil. The oil should be enough to almost cover the Johnny Cakes. You have to ensure that you pot the pot so that they don't have a lot of room to, to spread out. So this is what I'm talking about. I've placed enough in the pot. The pot cannot hold no more. And we're just going to fry it at this temperature for about 
15 to 20 minutes and this is at low heat yes i said low heat if you allow the pot to be too hot it will burn the johnny cakes too fast and if you put too small of oil it will burn now this is our end result i'm telling you these were so delicious now don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. Until next time, it's your girl Anna. Look at that.